the Congress Party is adept at snatching defeat from the jaws of victory. They are also very adept at cutting their nose to spite their face. Let me now come to the merits of this particular no-confidence motion that they have allegedly brought on one count alone, that is to bring the Prime Minister to the House. That seems to be the reason why this no-confidence has been moved, that the Prime Minister should be brought to this House. He is avoiding the House and avoiding speaking on Manipur. Mr. Chairman, I have always believed that the Congress Party is adept at snatching defeat from the jaws of victory. They are also very adept at cutting their nose to spite their face. And I say this advisedly. They know every time the Prime Minister has got up to speak on the floor of this House, and I think his worst political adversaries will recognize the fact that he's a peerless orator. There is no question. I don't think there is an, there is an orator today in India who matches him. There's no question. Everybody recognizes that fact. So every time he gets up on the floor of the House, he puts the Congress party through the shredder. I mean, they actually go through a shredding machine. So I cannot understand why they should cut their nose to spite their face, ask him to come to the House and put them through the shredder, as I have no doubt he will when he replies on Thursday. So this defies common sense, it defies logic, it defies political sense. I believe that there are other arguments that would have been more persuasive. The people of this country will decide if the Prime Minister has chosen not to speak, whether that was right or that was wrong, is for the people to decide. And you have to take that case to the people. You don't bring a no confidence which is doomed to fail in any case. At the threshold you know your no confidence is doomed to fail. You don't bring it needlessly and waste the time of the House. You don't disrupt the House needlessly when you know that the ruling party likes nothing better than the House being disrupted so that bills can be passed in the DIN. So ministers are happy not to answer any questions in question hour. This is, for every ruling party, this is a dream scenario. They let the opposition disrupt parliament so that we can go home and sleep happily. So therefore, this kind of disruptive politics has not paid dividend in the past, and I have no doubt that this kind of disruptive politics will not pay dividend in the future.